Well, which leads me to your stock picks this evening. So very quickly in the last minute and a half, so we're lucky. What, uh, what do you like? I'll go with Cisco. Uh, it's a, a competitor to uh, Bitrest uh, in, in, in the Bitcoin, in the, in the food uh, supply market to the restaurant uh, industry. So it's trading at relatively attractive valuation after a recovery in their earnings post-COVID. So, uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll go with that. I think, I think it's a, a good quality business that what? is very defensive. What's the share code there, Zulaki? S-Y-S-C-O. F-Y-S-C-O. No. Fisco. Yes. Not okay. the Cisco, the semiconductor. Yes. I was hearing Cisco and I thought, <laughs> wow, that's quite a diversification that they've just engaged in. <laughs> um, okay. So Fisco, F-Y-C-S-C-O. Um, uh, okay. Competitor to Bitcorp. Interesting. Um, Mark, how about you? Yes. So I'm buying Absa Bank tonight. So I know that uh, recently Jason Quinn has left as a group CFO to NetBank. I don't think that materially damages the APSA brand in any way and all the business. I think that the CEO, Ari Rottenbach, is going to continue to execute well. I mean, he's a strong operator. Uh, we saw a good update from Standard Bank today, um, and APSA also has the South African franchise and Africa exposure. I think that they, I mean, they're already on 8% dividend yields, and I think they'll grow earnings kind of 8% this year, so it gives you about a 16% return and then possibly a bit of a re-rating um, if we see um, South African macro GDP numbers improving next year. Okay, a local and a global share uh, for your portfolios to consider. So we're lucky, Mark, thank you very much for joining us both. A pleasure to have you on the show this evening. Uh, Mark DeToy is from Oyster Catcher Investments. Uh, Zwilake Mguni is from Benguela Global Fund Managers. And remember to tune in tomorrow at 10 o'clock. We'll be bringing you the live broadcast of Gauteng's 2023 medium-term budget policy statement. Finance MEC Jacob Mambobolo will outline the priorities for the province and how public funds will be used to grow Gauteng's economy and create jobs. Uh, that will be very interesting to watch. So 10 o'clock tomorrow here on Business Day TV. Coming up next, the close. Stay with us.